thirteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Asma Hafiz. First, the headlines. Prime Minister says master plans for all major cities of the country are being devised to defuse the damages of urbanization. Special Assistant on Petroleum says government has made changes in fuel prices policy to facilitate the consumers. Minister for Kashmir Affairs says government is establishing economic zones in Gilgit, Baltistan to create more opportunities for foreign investment in tourism sector. In illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the authorities have further tightened restrictions in Srinagar city to disallow Muharram processions. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the incumbent government believes in rule of law contrary to previous regimes where law was meant for only poor people. In an exclusive interview with a private news channel, he said we are going to convene a joint session of parliament next week and if the opposition once again joins hand to save corrupt within its ranks, it would be an open enmity to the country. Imran Khan said his government inherited a situation where Pakistan was put in FATF cray list during the tenure of Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. Regarding health reports of PMLN leader Nawaz Sharif, the Prime Minister said medical opinion of expert doctors was the only reason of allowing him to go abroad. Prime Minister Imran Khan said Pakistan had a good relationship with all countries at the moment, including the United States, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Turkey and several others. The Prime Minister said master plans for all major cities of country are being devised to defuse the damages of urbanization. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Petroleum, Nadeem Babur, has said government has made changes in fuel prices policy to facilitate the consumers. Talking to a private news channel, he said the changes will be made in the petroleum products prices after 15 days. He said the country would start importing only Euro 5 standard petrol from next month to provide quality fuel and tackling environmental issues. Minister for Kashmir Affairs in Gilgit, Baltistan, Ali Amin Gandapur, has said that there is a huge opportunity for foreign investment in tourism sector in Gilgit, Baltistan. Talking to country head of Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency in Islamabad today, he asked the Turkish investors to invest in tourism sector. He said about 2 million tourists visit the picturesque area of Gilgit, Baltistan every year. The minister said that the government is establishing economic zones in Gilgit, Baltistan, which will open new avenues of industrial development. National Disaster Management Authority is continuing its rescue and relief operations in rain-affected areas of Karachi. According to spokesperson of NDMA, these operations and drainage activities are being carried out by Pakistan Army in collaboration with local civil administration. She said food, drinking water and other essential items are being provided to rain-affected people, while 56 relief camps have also been established. She said the NDMA also provided 3,000 tents to Sindh government for rain-hit people. Pakistan Army, Navy, Sindh Rangers and other civil agencies are busy in draining the water and helping people affected during the rain-hit areas in Karachi. Pakistan Army has established a flood emergency control center to deal with flood-relating emergencies while medical camps have also been established in the areas of Gulbarg, Lakatabad and New Karachi. It may be pointed out that the current spell of rain in the metropolis broke the record of maximum rain recorded in one day with 223 mm rain recorded in just 12 hours. The previous record was 211 mm in 24 hours in July 1967. In illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the authorities have further tightened restrictions in Srinagar City's commercial hub of Lal Chowk and adjoining areas to disallow Muharram processions today. The curbs were imposed in areas falling under eight police stations. Meanwhile, in illegally Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Indian forces used brute force to foil the attempt of people to take out the traditional Muharram procession in Srinagar City. And now cricket. Pakistan and England will play first of the three-match T20 series between them at Manchester today. The match will begin at 10 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And that is the end of this news bulletin. 
For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio